Welcome back. This is Awaken Intuitives Tarot. Natalie here. Um, we are back to do a pick a pile reading for this Lionsgate portal, the 888 portal. So August being the eighth month, the eighth day, and 2024 is number eight. I've been super, super excited about this. Maybe you have been too, but this will be three piles that you can choose from. We will use a specific oracle deck to choose each pile's reading to set the stage, and we will do a crystal or stone if you'd rather choose with that. I have some Lionsgate 888 frequency music playing in the background that I do not own the rights to, and I hope you are doing, doing very, very well. I know we just entered in the murky retrograde. This is a timed reading because we are so focused on this Lionsgate portal. It is. It happens when Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, also known as the dog star, um, is closest to the earth. The ancient Egyptians with the Orion's belt, uh, goddess Isis is all connected. Um, so this is really cool. And when the sun is in Leo, so we are in Leo season. So happy birthday to Leos out there. And let's begin. Okay. So I always ask divine source, light creator, guides of love and light only. And always have an open mind, always ask questions. The truth is always stranger than fiction. And whatever pile you feel most drawn to, that or those are the ones for you. All the timestamps are in the description below and the comments below. So feel free to skip and go straight to your piles rating if you already know your pile. And if not, you can stick through this and um, watch the process of picking the piles, okay? All right, we will do tarot and oracle. All right, here we go. Abundant love and light, so be it, so it is. Let's begin. This is a brand new oracle deck. It is the Dream Gate Oracle by Danielle Noel. I thought that was perfect with the Dream Gate. We just had a new moon um, the beginning of August. Was it the third or something? And um, the gate. So we're focused on the Lion's Gate portal. So really cool. Perfect timing. Okay, let's begin. Can we get our pile number one, please? Pile number one. Oh, there it is. And I will show you all the cards here in a moment. Let's pick the stone crystal. All right. What's the stone or crystal for our pile number one, please? Okay. All right. Knock it again. Okay, pile number two, please. Wow. One card for pile two, please. Perfect. Some of them are still sticky, but that's all right. <laughs> Brand new. First time I'm using this deck. All right, pile two stone crystal. Oh, this is neat. Think so all right and then pile number three that was pretty fast usually pile three takes a minute <laughs> okay and then the stone crystal for pile three all right sweet so for our pile number one, we have this blue lace agate stone crystal. Really pretty. All right. Along with celestial temple, dream incubation, cosmic downloads, divine truths with the blue lace agate for pile number one. Okay. All right, and for pile number two, we have, oh, is this rhodochrosite? I believe this is rhodochrosite, not rhodonite. It is rhodochrosite. Really neat. Ooh, 
with the mountain. Obstacles ahead, overcoming fear, perseverance with the rotocrocyte pile number two. All right, and for pile number three, we have this um, angelite, angelite or angelite crystal stone. Here and there you could see some sparkles, just tiny little ones. Not sure if you can. Okay, with move with grace, Optimize light, inner and outer forgiveness with the angelite or angelite crystal stone for pile number three. All right, so those are the piles. I'll take a picture, give you a moment longer if you need it. And if you already know your pile or piles, you may feel drawn to all of them. That's totally up to you. Follow your intuition. Um, the timestamps are in the comments below and the description below. So I will see you at Piles Reading. Welcome, pile number one. You chose this blue lace agate stone or crystal. Really, really beautiful. Almost has this opal type blue color with those squiggly lines. <laughs> All right, as well as Celestial Temple, Dream Incubation, Cosmic Downloads, and Divine Truths. So it looks like there was just a new moon and now, well, let's see. Or is that growing? But the crescent moon, right? We did just have a new moon. In Cancer, these signs could be significant in your chart anywhere. It doesn't have to be. But Cancer is a water sign. And it rules the fourth house of home, family, stability, structure, foundation, nurturing. And um, so, me, yeah, this is the Dream Gate Oracle. And... There's something going on in the subconscious, the feelings, emotions, dreams. And there's this like incubation period of now the moon is growing. And so something may have been uh, intentionalized or started around this last new moon, the beginning of August, 2024, and is growing, incubating until that full moon okay i believe it is on uh the 24th or 5th or something like that i'll have to double check and it is in the sign of aquarius and aquarius is an air sign it is the water bearer it rules the 11th house of hopes wishes friends community innovations uniqueness humanitarianism so very interesting and then cosmic downloads so getting downloads in dream state subconsciously maybe there's going to be some serious downloads starting with this specific new moon going through this peak of the Lionsgate portal the 888 portal august 8th 2024 up all the way until the full moon of this month and then the divine truths balance karma law, justice, which can be in the spiritual or the physical. This temple reminds me of the foundation, the foundation of what you're building, incubation, how to build it, and what is the divine truth of your soul truth. All right, also what is really cool is the blue lace agate. This blue reminds me of the throat chakra, okay, blue. The throat chakra can be speaking truth, sharing truth, truth coming out, speaking clearly, right? Wow, okay, so let's read that out of the guidebook. And remember, I always ask and connect to divine source, like creator guides of abundant love and light 
only, okay? And um, always have an open mind. This is a general reading, not a personal private reading. In this, They are not numbered, so that is slightly different. But I wonder if it is, it is in alphabetical order. So it is on page 46. 46 could be significant. 46 is a number 10. 10s are about fulfillment and completion and cycles a fulfillment for a new beginning. It's like almost like a transformation of a death rebirth, but it's that feeling of fulfillment and wholeness and how far you've come, everything you built, feeling fulfilled and successful. So also reducing to a one, which is beginnings, new things, new births. Okay, let's find out where that is. Okay, this is really neat. The page numbers are different. I've never seen that before. It's actually on the sides. How fun. Okay, different perspective. Interesting. Celestial Temple, Dream Incubation, Intentions. We spoke of the intentions with that new moon. You are not alone. The universe, cosmic downloads, and divine truth. I am ready to tap into higher planes of wisdom. I let the universe show me the way, all right, to your soul truth, your divine truth, okay? An ancient temple of light glows on a distant world high above the heavens. As a portal of serenity and cosmic wonder, beautiful. The portal, Lionsgate portal, is this like activation for that, okay? As a portal of serenity and cosmic wonder, it is a place of pilgrimage for those seeking enlightenment and peace, where the magic within themselves, them, them, what, what, okay, I'm sorry, Mercury retrograde, whew, magic within them lives on in the stars. The ancient Egyptians, this is what this serious Lionsgate portal is. It's connected to the ancient Egyptians. They totally worship this. When the Sirius, the dog star, the brightest star in the night sky, would be closest to the earth. Wow, so Egyptians could be very significant to you. Maybe a past life, some connection, maybe you've been drawn to it. Okay, the ancient Egyptians were known to practice a sacred form of dream incubation, in which they would seek mystical guidance through their dreams. This was a devotional spiritual exploration that was believed to bring them closer to the divine by providing messages on important matters. Here they would tap into the cosmos and exchange wisdom with the gods. To prime these inner journeys, dreamers would often sleep in carefully designed dream temples, where they would ask for symbolic responses to help alleviate their concerns or questions. Sourced from intangible truths of the universe, their dreams would provide a holy sense of peace and comfort to many lives and communities throughout the dynasties. This card heralds a time of sweet discovery as you are taken further into the constellations of your own awakening. In a world that constantly reminds us of tangible material truths, it is easy to forget that we are also navigating a realm of beautiful eternal spirit. Let this knowledge lift your heart when you become lost in the density of the world. See this right here? I chose the dark heart tarot for you. It's blue, gold, there's an eye. Yeah, okay, very significant, we'll have to see. Okay, <clears throat> we are each connected to a power that is invisible and holy. Just as the universe is sentient, energetic, and vibrational, so are you, dear traveler. Just as you may prime your dreams to access more revelations, you can also set your waking intentions to enhance, enhance your life. Through every moment of this realization, you are integrating higher truths between your inner and outer worlds. You are always anchoring in new light. That's what this does. It brings in these new activating light codes. Beautiful, this Lionsgate portal. Sirius Lionsgate, Sirius Star, Sirius Gateway, the Lionsgate portal. Also, I chose the Time Traveler's Oracle as part of your reading. Okay, now, as you investigate the physical world around you each day, you are encouraged to become more intimate with the invisible field of the divine and to see the beauty of the great mysteries through the subtle and sacred weavings of life. What is your soul yearning to learn? How and where can I tune into the language of the divine? Okay. Woo-wee! 
interesting. All right, so very beautiful. Um, I love that Oracle deck so far. <laughs> really great by Danielle Noel. Okay, now the Dark Heart Tarot. The gold, the blue, the white, the stars, the crescent moons. Okay, very significant. All right, so now what can pile number one expect for this Lionsgate portal? We'll pull two to three cards, see what comes out. Gold is like divine. It is very, very high vibration. And then blue, throw chakra, truth, clarity. So what can pile number one expect for this Lionsgate portal? 888 portal. Okay, I feel that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, nope. Thank you. Oh, one more. What can pile number one expect for this Lionsgate portal? Oh my goodness, really? Yes, this is perfect. First of all, you have the nine of blades, that's swords. So swords is air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And it's all about mentality, mind, beliefs, thoughts, words, and communication. So the nines are kind of like reflecting on how far you've come in a way, but the nine of swords is like um, stressing. It can be nightmares, uh, worries, doubts, fears, anxieties, depression, dark night of the soul, really tough, really in your head, um, not a clear mind, not a clear way of communication, um, not clear thought patterns. So this is a difficult time. Um, and this could be connected to the dream state <clears throat> or the mind in general. Um, headaches, migraines, overthinking, obsessive thinking, constantly being woken, aw awoke in the night, difficulty sleeping, okay? Then you have the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is a one ace. Um, it can be a yes, Cups is water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So that's feelings, emotions, and it can be subconscious. And love. So the Ace of Cups is self-love, unconditional love, um, abundant love, <laughs> overpour of feelings and emotions. This is feeling a good flow within the heart. It This is healing energy, by the way. This could possibly be a full moon or some kind of eclipse. There is a crow or raven, and that is a spirit messenger. And it reminds me of the night. So I do believe you are getting these cosmic downloads and dream state in the subconscious. And I feel like it is for your healing of possible fears, doubts, worries, anxieties, depression, sleepless nights, restless nights, um, anything that is overboard of the mentality, beliefs, mind, communication, words. This also is like the chalice, you know, like Christ consciousness, uh, heart consciousness, the heart chakra of love which is truth and the eye the eye is seen open clear clarity this could be connected to the third eye which is the head getting downloads through that third eye okay and maybe it's like oh this is so much but that may be in your head, but this could be connected to the subconscious. You may not be fully aware of it consciously, right? Because it's like one sword at a time. It's not all pointing at you. This is all about truths though. Um, waking to the truths, this awakening, right? Love, okay? And then you have the hangman. 
This is a major arcana. So this is a number 12 of the major arcanas. The 12th house in astrology is ruled by Pisces, a water sign. The 12th house is subconscious dreams, unknown, unseen, beneath the surface, hidden, intuition, maternal. And the 12th can be a three. The third house is Gemini Mercury energy. It's communication, transportation, journeys, technology, and the mentality. But the hangman is getting a whole new perspective. It is seeing things completely differently. Okay. So you can change things around, flip things around, untie yourself. It can be sabotage. It can be sacrifice. This is happening for you to see things in a whole new light, in a whole new way, different things, um, clear, clarity, truth. So you can heal. I do feel it is connected to the subconscious. Absolutely. Yes. So some things may be totally unaware to you. This could be subconsciously connected. Because this can be also upside down world, upside down reality, not seeing things clearly. But this brings in a change of sight, perspective, to see things differently. Wow. Okay. All right. So that's what you can expect for this Lionsgate portal. Hmm. And this reminds me of swaying back and forth. You can reach up and untie your ankles at any time. Wow. Okay. See, this is self-love. This can be self-sabotage. Okay. So now we are going to do more tarot. So what are they going to be feeling during this portal? So what is pile number one going to be feeling during this Lionsgate portal? This is pretty cool. Wow. Okay, one more. What are you what is pile number one going to be feeling during this Lionsgate portal? It did start opening up on um, July 26, 2024, and then it continues on um I think until August 12th, 2024, but the peak is on the 8th, okay? So you have the strength card. It's a number eight. This is the Leo card. Leo. Maybe some of you have Leos very significantly in your chart somewhere. Um, maybe you want to check where Leo is, uh, what house, maybe what planets are in Leo. You know, um, if you know, maybe if you have questions about that, I can help you. Okay. But eight is like the infinity symbol as above, so below. Reminds me of this hangman a little bit. And the eighth house in astrology is ruled by Scorpio, water sign. The eighth house is the death, rebirth, changes, cycles, transformation, rising phoenix from the ashes, um, regeneration. And this Leo strength is courageous, fiery, passionate, action taking, um, overcomes all obstacles, no matter what, and stronger each time. They gain strength each time. They persevere. It's about fortitude perseverance, courage, passion, fiery energy, and taming the beast. Where does the beast live? The mind, right? That's amazing. So strong, powerful, empowered, enlightened, not alone. There's a sidekick. A very courageous one. Okay. Leo is a fire sign. The lion. Ruling the fifth house in astrology. The fifth house is the heart. You have the heart chakra right here. Heart healing. It can be the heart, love, pleasure, creativity, amusement, laughter, joy, perseverance, and fortitude. All right. Then you have the king of crystals. This is the king of pentacles. There's two lions on here. Is this? Nope. This is the King of Wands. I'm sorry. I do this sometimes with this deck. This is the Wands. Oh my goodness. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is so freaking crazy. So from maybe self-sabotage, sacrifice, limbo mode, 
It's time to change things around. Tame the beast. Look at the, look at what she's wearing. Okay. It's like she used to be chained by her head, like her neck. Okay. And now they are crowned. They take that choker or whatever, and they crown themselves with it. So the king of wands perseveres. It's about fortitude, strong energy, um, very um, passionate about what they do. They're loyal. They have loyalty. They have um, uh, recognition. Um, they ma they're a master manifester. They set their intentions. They're very strong and seen and heard. Now that is so freaking cool. And then, yes, 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 yes. You have the six of crystals. These six of wands, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Six is the divine embodiment of love, okay? The six of wands is success, victory, spotlight, recognition, um, uh, achievement, congratulations, graduation, an accomplishment, and she has the wreath around her head. The mind. You're going to be feeling very empowered, like, like you reached a goal, an achievement, success, accomplishment, certification, graduation, like you finally flip things around, change things, or this transformation is finally coming in. You tame the beast. And it's not alone. You've had help. You are have you are being helped. Okay. Also, this reminds me of the Lyrans. So if you um feel connection with that, you could check that out. We will use the Lyran Oracle here in a little while, okay? Oh, I am like, wow, your reading is so cool. I am personally, I'm so excited for this Lionsgate portal. All right, there is a lot of karmic clearing and transformations for a lot of people, okay? It's just like, what part of your life, you know? And it is very spiritual. Okay, where did I put it? I want to keep the blue lace agate. Here we go. Okay, so now we are going to use the Time Traveler's Oracle. This is by Denise Lynn. Look at the, look at the pyramids. Okay, pretty neat. Okay, so what energy will pile number one be working with, with this specific portal? Yeah, charismatic with that. King of Wands, a very good leader. He's a leader. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what energy is pile number one going to be working with, um, with this specific portal, the Lionsgate portal? What energy will they be working with? You got a ship. Oh, you got to be kidding. Look at the top word. What does that say? Courage, you guys. And it's a number eight. Wow, this is gonna be huge. Eight, the infinity symbol of as above, so below. She's got it in her hair, her head. Okay, as above, so below, inner, outer, right? And um, changes, transformation, death, rebirth. Endings for new beginnings, cycles. It says Vikings in the new world courage like nothing stops them nothing at all oh my gosh they overcome all the obstacles waves chaos storms right wow okay courage so what energy you're going to be working with i mean this is confirmation absolutely all the way what to expect what are you going to be feeling now what energy you're going to be working with with this specific portal what was that i swear i seen like a really like a spark my incense is fine though i that was so weird I swear I seen a spark of like orange red 
that went behind the phone. Okay, really weird. I'm gonna light another incense because that actually just barely went out. This was for the root chakra, the red. Okay, now this one's for the heart chakra. It's jasmine, the green. is going to be great for you. Okay. Yep. Winning every battle. All right. So yes, what energy you're going to be working with during, with this Lionsgate portal. Messages from Vikings in the new world. Here we go. What an exciting adventure. We've landed in Newfoundland around the year 1000 CE to visit the newly arrived Vikings. We're here with Leif Erikson, watching his people prepare the foundations of a new settlement. The temple? We talked about the fourth house, home, family, structure, stability, a foundation. Wow. Okay. Oh, this is so good. As we walk through their community, we're impressed by the vigor, physical strength, and grace of these men and women. It seems to radiate from the center of their being. Maybe the heart, right? Okay. What remarkable courage these early settler settlers had to cross the Atlantic Ocean in their long ships, open air, wooden boats during huge storms and inclement weather. They set forth without certainty about where they would land or when they'd get there. Guided by the stars, again, the winds, and their connection to their gods, they traveled forward into the unknown. We talked about that unknown with the 12th house and moon. We are both inspired by their authority, command, and their dignity. It feels empowering just to be in the presence of such bravery and courage and totally King Awan's energy, right? There are times to hold back and deliberate about life and times to move forward with passion, power, and daringness. If there is something you wanted to do or say or act upon, this card signals that it is time to go forward. Don't back down. Face your fears. That's right. That is exactly right. Facing the line in the eyes. Yeah. Facing fears. Overcoming obstacles. Taming the beast. Okay. I love this. Act on your impulse now and success will follow. That's success, six of wands, crystals. That is straight up success, triumph, victory, okay? <laughs> all right, now, being courageous doesn't mean that you are not all, at all afraid. Being fearless means just that to fear less. There are no certainties about the outcomes, but be willing to take a risk and step forward anyway. You may be on the verge of a massive breakthrough. Be resolute in honoring your truth. Oh, this is awesome. And speak up for yourself. Live with passion. As a warrior of the light, you must step beyond self-imposed limitations. Limiting yourself. Self-sacrifice or self-sabotage? Yeah. Okay. Um, step beyond those self-imposed limitations to be a way shower for others. Through you, others will be inspired to find and act upon their truth. Trust that you are unstoppable. Ending on page 55. Five, change, transformation, challenges, fifth house, Leo energy. The heart, love, pleasure, perseverance, fortitude, creativity. And then the 10 again. So a total fulfillment and completion, satisfaction, success um, cycle. Okay. All right. That's so cool. That's the energy you'll be working with. All right. So back to the tarot. Okay. So what is the needed change for pile number one with this portal? What is the needed change for pile number one with this specific portal, the Lionsgate portal? <clears throat> okay, wow. What is the needed change? Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, the first card is the Seven of Cups. Cups is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Emotions, feelings. Now, the Seven of Cups is multiple things, multiple opportunities, multiple offers, multiple feelings, multiple emotions. It can be causing confusion, but it's also focusing on your fantasy type of dreams 
like your head in the clouds, um, not focusing too much on the reality, but um, it can be multiple energies. There's a crown in one cup, the crow raven in the other, a gem or diamond in one, a flower in one, an apple in one, a snake in one, and this flower, a uh, vine. Okay. This reminds me of the stars. Kundalini energy, the golden apple, maybe temptation, the vine, connections, cords, ties, attachments, the crown in the center. Messages from spirit. Gems, um, treasures, and the flower of blooming, fruitful beauty, full of life. So what is the need to change? Seven of Cups. Getting clarity. Understanding what your divine truth is. That it it's not just all fantasy and this will never happen for me and this is out of my league or there's just too many things going on or multiple energies going on. I don't know if I'll get there or I don't know if I can lead my own life or create my own life, manifest, um, reach the success and accomplishment, okay? All right, then you have the Hierophant. It's another major arcana. So major arcana is a lot of energy. This is a number five of the major arcanas. Five, change, transformation, challenge, cycle. But um, the fifth house Leo energy, but the higher font is ruled by Taurus. Taurus is an earth sign. It rules the second house of earthly matters, earthly material, tangible things. The higher font is a spiritual teacher, leader, enlightenment, awakening, but it's holding, receiving these keys of knowledge, information, wisdom, spiritual knowledge, this as above, so below, inner, outer, spiritual, physical connection, okay? To unlock these secrets, information, Akashic records, soul truths. Yeah. Getting like it's almost like not just getting real with yourself, but it's getting real with what you deserve. Like you can have all the success, abundance, and achievements that you want, despite multiple energies going on, multiple energies around you, multiple feelings and emotions, confusion, which is connected to the mind. Okay. All right. Look at the hat, the mind, the, the key to success. Now we have justice. That's another major arcana. It's a number 11. Okay. Remember we talked about 11th house with Aquarius error. 11th house is hopes, wishes, friends, community, innovations. The 11 is the two ones together. The balance of both worlds okay um and this is actually ruled by libra another air sign libra rules the seventh house of um relationships partnerships could be marriage um but it's also balance harmony unity law court order right justice the true sword the scales it looks like a full moon She's holding a sword, right? The sword of truth and the scales of truth and justice. And there's a full moon behind her. That's like when things are really brought to light, when things are really understood and seen. And her, she's got a crown. The needed change is you reaching your soul divine truth your purpose what is your truth um that you are very important 
you're an, a leader. You're this leader. You had the King of Wands is a leader um, in the Hierophant, spiritual leader or teacher, and holds the keys, the books, the knowledge, the wisdom. Yeah. It can also be conformity rules, establishments, marriage contracts. some contract here going on. So the seven of cups being multiple energies, multiple things could be multiple lives. It could be multiple karmic ties, but it's this needed change of you getting this new perspective on what you deserve what is your true truth your divine truth your soul truth and this connection between the physical and spiritual the as above so below you and the stars you and divine right gosh this can also be awakening and enlightenment which is also seen clearly seeing the truth and then you have justice, the truth. Wow. Very interesting. Clearing confusion. All right. So that's the needed change for this portal. Now we are going to use another oracle. This is the Magical Dimensions Oracle by Light Star, is her name. Okay. Here we go. So what is pile number one going to be manifesting with this Lionsgate portal? From the Magical Dimensions Oracle. What is pile number one going to be manifesting with this Lionsgate portal? Oh my gosh. You have a card number 19 and it says harmonic resolution. Resolving. Resolve. It says negativity, anger, transmute, change, transform, flip things around, right? From anything that is unhealthy, negative, fear, doubt, worry, anxiety, right? Karmic confusion to balance, harmony, truth, clarity, okay? So 19 could be significant. 19 is also related to the sun card in the tarot, which is fire energy, Aries Leo, Sagittarius. And it's all about joy, happiness, fulfillment, awakening, enlightenment, childlike play, wonder, um, summertime, uh, positivity. And um, the 19 being a 10, fulfillment, cycle, transformation, an ending for a new beginning. And then the one, 19, 10, one, one new beginning, a new cycle. There's this two opposite energies. Blues, violet purples, and then like the red, orange, and yellow. That's interesting. And they're all light codes. So that's gonna be happening with this Lionsgate portal. Okay. The downloads, the cosmic downloads. Let's read this for you. So what is pile number one going to be manifesting with this Lionsgate portal? Here we go. Negativity, anger, transmute. Image connected with lavender red color ray. Original artwork title is Harmonic Resolution. Harmonic Resolution resonates to the thickness and heaviness of the lower dimensions. This can cause disturbance and scattering of energies. Confusion? Yeah. Okay. And over identification with emotions of frustration, anger, isolation, and confusion. Oh my goodness. Which disrupts the auric field. Divine light codes transmute these emotions, diffusing and disarming lower emotional states. Nine of swords. Remember the nine of blades? And return the auric field to harmony, peace, and serenity. You need to acknowledge some of the lower level emotions, hidden negativity. Remember, hidden in the subconscious, okay? Anger, frustration, and confusion. That may be a factor right now. Release any unfocused and distracting mental chatter. Holy cow. 
Breathe deeply and diffuse excessive mental and emotional energies to regain your balance. That's the key. Boom. <laughs> you may also have attracted people in your life who are operating from lower vibrations and you need to transmute these energies. Companion crystals is rhodonite, shungite, and the companion essential oil is Palo Santo. All right, so um, pile number two uh, got rhodochrosite. Um, so it's it's pretty close to rhodonite. Uh, rhodonite's more of a pink, black, or like a pink. Oh, you're stinking pink. Pink, uh, blackish with like maybe grayish metallic in it. Palo Santo. I'm gonna light it right now. It's a very, very sweet, like sweet grass. It's so nice. Okay. Rhodonite. I do have a piece right here. I'm going to show you. Here's Shungite. Just like a, a black mass almost. Very protective, clears the negative energies. Okay. And the Rhodonite. Here we go. With the pink grayish uh metallic specks blackish maybe a little bit of brown it is light 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 pink rhodonite okay i just needed to show you those really quickly so there's that all right so what you're you're going to be manifesting is switching these energies up changing these energies around uh clearing them out transmuting them which is beautiful so needed bringing in peace and harmony and unity and a balance great okay back to the tarot again so what can pile number one be aware of during let's ask this what can pile number one be aware of with this lion's gate portal what should they be aware of what can they be aware of oh Oh, the Ten of Pentacles. This is all about stability and structure and a great foundation. It can be community, humanity as well. This is all of the hard work you've done and it's harvest time. You've reached that success and that fulfillment, that stability. Um, it is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Ten. Again, you've gotten so many Tens. And there's these two dogs that are black and white. Ooh, that reminds me of Yin Yang. The balance, the scales. And look at this man. He's an older, wise man. Look at the crescent moon. See, fruitful energies, harvest time, which can be manifestations, success, abundance, community, feeling so satisfied. Yep, they almost have like this four-leaf clover type of look. Not exactly, but just a little bit. So that may be significant in some way. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> be aware of that. Okay. Wow. Huge. All right. So now we are going to do the Lyran Oracle. So what will this Lionsgate portal activate for our pile number one? Did I show you the Lyran Oracle book? There's light codes on the back too. Very significant. And look at on the head. Wow. Okay. What will this Lionsgate portal activate for our pile number one? Will this Lionsgate portal activate for pile number one? Oh, you have a card number four. Fourth house is cancer energy, water, the crab. The fourth house is a home, a family, structure, stability, a good foundation. And it can be celebration. This is star seed, by the way. Okay. Oh my gosh. The universe opens through you. Yeah. Like the Hierophant? Wow. Harnessing that energy from the heavens or the divine. The, the universe, the stars into the physical, right here, higher font. 
access to both of the worlds. This is amazing. Now let's read this out of the guidebook. Okay, Starseed. <laughs> what will this landscape portal activate for you? You are a wholeheartedly, you are a wholeheartedly a star seed, a divine child of the cosmos with your home stretching far beyond the confines of your planet. We have observed you all closely, even in your darkest cycles, knowing we were limited with the hands-off approach to your evolution. This hands-off approach, look at the backs of these cards, hands-off but watching. Ooh, the hands-off approach was initiated through the Galactic Star Councils for it was clear through experience that liberation is always permanent when a species unlocks the key. <sighs> the, this potential through activating their soul gifts themselves. What will this landscape portal activate for you? Okay. This path of non-intervention, although challenging, <laughs> resulted in an illuminated thread of teachers remaining intact on earth. A spiritual teacher or leader. Okay, holding down a torch of illuminated consciousness. Okay, even in the darkest periods of your, for your species, this has advanced into large field of light held in the essence of each of you all in the starseed collective with start or when starseeds begin to incarnate on any planet specifically in high numbers like this time on earth it it often serves as the precursor that a society is about to enter into a galactic awareness and awaken culture through this understanding know that you have been placed here as part of the grand starseed mission sent here to transform the entire plane of existence through the vibratory frequency that is you the card of starseed arrives when you are carrying revolutionary ideas hold on empowered vision and have a self-expression that is needed for this current moment of the collective you have been embedded into this reality to serve a grand purpose through your authentic soul calling Oh, and it is time to activate your full potential now. Honor these star codes within yourself and grant yourself the ability to fully be yourself without limitation again. Through this allowance of full authenticity, the seeds of the star begins to sprout within. The seeds of the star? Serious? Begins to sprout within, growing into high dimensional fruit for all future generations to receive. The universe opens through you. Self-expression, creative endeavors, own your power, self-worth, originality, leadership, doors opening, time of empowerment. Take out a sheet of paper and begin to write who you are when operating from your truest expression. Put aside who society has made you to believe you are and authentically share what it looks like when you are living your most authentic truth as a human. Perhaps you communicate differently or dress differently. Or maybe you are engaged in a specific offering or live in a particular place. Maybe the communication. You did get the blue lace agate with all these blues, throat chakra. Okay, don't hold back in this exercise and write firmly who you are, allowing it to reveal your soul blueprint. Once this has been complete, reread this document often. Place it where you don't forget and allow your human to merge with your greatest soul expression. All is possible. Remember that seven of cups, it can be too focused or focusing on the kind of like the fantasy land, like the head in the clouds, the castle in the clouds, the dreams, but maybe unrealistic, you know, but the last of that was perfect. Where'd it go? <laughs> I want to read that last line. Once it has been complete, reread this document often. Place it where you don't forget and allow your human to merge with your greatest soul expression. All is possible. Wow. Yep, all is possible. Beautiful. Okay. So now we are going to go back to the tarot and then one last message. What a great reading. Okay. 
So how can pile number one use this energy from the Lionsgate portal best? So how can pile number one use this energy from the Lionsgate portal best? The music just, just barely paused. Yeah, we're still listening. The Magician, another major arcana. The number one of the major arcana, pile number one. Something new, this new cycle, this new transformation, this new change, the Magician. Magician. Um, they have all the tools and resources they need. They have the pinnacles, the wands, the cups, and the swords. They have it all. All is possible. They create everything out of nothing. They're the master alchemist. They have that as above, so below connection, inner, outer, the infinity symbol above his head. He's dancing and flowing. <laughs> this is your magic, your, your magician abilities. This is air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy, mind, mentality, thoughts, beliefs, words, communication, the manifester, the creator, the creator of all that is of your world, master alchemist, alchemizing energies, transforming, transmuting, having all the resources and tools you need to create whatever you want to create, magic, magic wand, the seed the wand so the seed the growth the harvest the fruit the intention the manifestation the passion the action the mental clarity truth balance harmony unity and the love and healing heart chakra flow peace that's pretty amazing so how can you use this energy from the Lionsgate portal? Harness these energies. Use these energies. Do it. <laughs> oh, that is so freaking cool. Of course, we are using these sweet ass affirmations to addition. <laughs> All right. So for pile number one, what is the last message for them to move forward through this Lionsgate portal? Confirmation, last message. For pile number one. Please. There it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so good. So it's like um Mount Rushmore, but it's not. So it says I rage up Mount Crushmore. This is interesting. Maybe something significant about the U.S. Maybe you're, you live in the U.S., United States. There's one person on the other end with a red flag and the other person on the other end with a blue flag. Something with elections or something? Like what's going on in the country? I'm not sure. But I do feel like that, a lot of like the world, the shifts, the dimensional shifts of the planet, is very very connected to what's going on in the United in the United States, but uh, anyway, you don't have to agree. But it says I rage up Mount Crushmore, rage, negativity, anger, frustration, twenty four seven three sixty five. Oh wow. Okay, then I will read you the back. Oops. When you party with Humpty Dumpty, and you slip off the wall, don't fret. Because we all take big falls. Every ascending airplane will eventually land so it can fuel up and take off again. Every significant summit starts deep in a valley and it can take weeks to hit the next peak. We're talking about the very, like this entire Lionsgate portal, right? But the peak of it is 888, August 8th of 2024. Okay. But if you keep your chinny chin up and move forward proudly, you'll beast up Mount Crushmore faster than you think. Taming the beast, right? Wow. It's like surrendering almost, right? The two 
coming together. Wow, beautiful. Okay. The red could be root chakra, root stability, foundation, leadership, and the blue, truth, clarity, balance. That's pretty cool. All right, Pile One, this was your reading for the Lionsgate portal slash 888 portal. And um, I mean, I was really, really, really impressed with your reading. So thank you so much for being here. And um, I would so love to know how this may resonate for you. Absolutely, that would be amazing. So if you want to, I'd love that if you want to comment below. Um, you can always email me too privately if you feel called to. Anyway, so just take what resonates, leave whatever may not resonate, use your discernment. And if you're interested in a personal, private reading, you can always reach out to me, comment below, or email me. My email's in the description below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell so you're notified for future uploads. And have a great Lionsgate portal this year. Come on, 888, right? Beautiful. Okay, thank you guys so much. Uh, again, an abundant love and light, so be it, and so it is. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, welcome, pile number two. You chose this really, really pretty rhodochrosite stone crystal. It's like on one side, it's like that green, and then the other is that pink color. Really beautiful. Really, really pretty. I dropped it in my abalone shell. Huh? Huh, okay, maybe that's significant somehow. Here we go. <laughs> A little bit covered in ashes, but that's okay, right? <laughs> so the greens do remind me of the heart chakra a little bit, but the pink is very light and kind of fun and just kind of joyful, you know, and loving like the heart love too. So very beautiful heart healing maybe along with the mountain goes so well with this stone, right? It says obstacles ahead, overcoming fear and perseverance. Obstacles ahead. I dropped this in the abalone shell in all the ashes. So a fall maybe, but it is to overcome fear, overcoming fear and perseverance and fortitude. It's about persevering forward, keep moving forward, no stopping, not letting these, um, hiccups stop you, not letting uh, these obstacles stand in your way, these challenges stand in your way, or um, make you doubt. Um, it's about you gaining strength to keep pushing forward, not stopping. It's perseverance and fortitude. And that goes very, very well with Leo energy. We are in Leo season now. This 888 Lionsgate portal is in Leo season. It is when the sun is in Leo. And the Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, is closest to the Earth. So, it's like, yeah, and there's this crescent moon here. We talked about, I talked about that with pile number one, how it was like, there was just this new moon, like yesterday or the day before or something. And um, that's like intention setting, kind of like new beginnings in a way. And then these intention, intentions, these new things, these new cycles growing. So growing to be fulfilled, to be harvested. And the mountain, it's like reaching the peak. There's this, it reminds, oh my gosh, this looks like the Sirius star right here. It could be you, like almost right at that peak. So that peak is the 888 portal. So it does open July 26, 2024 and ends like August 12th, 2024, but the peak is August 8th, 2024, 888. So very interesting. I feel like that's gonna help activate you, reach you to that peak moment. Obstacles ahead, overcoming fear, perseverance. But this is going to be like a burst of strength, fortitude, maybe courage right? That's really interesting. Okay, so let's read that out of the guidebook. This is the Dream Gate Oracle by Danielle Noel. I thought this was perfect for um, this Lionsgate portal reading, the Lionsgate Dream Gate. So dreams could be very significant. Um, let's find out where this is in the guidebook. And this is the first time I've used this oracle in this, is this reading. So really perfect timing. 
Okay, the mountain. It is on page 120. So 120 could be a 12. 12, the 12th house in astrology is ruled by Pisces. Uh, moon energy, that's unknown. Subconscious dreams, unknown beneath the surface. Kind of like a new moon. And then um, a 12 can be a 3. 3 is teamwork, cooperation. It is also third house, Mercury, Gemini, energy, communication, transportation, journeys, technology, and the mentality. So let's go to 120. All right, almost there. Let's see, right here. The mountain. Obstacles ahead, overcoming fear, perseverance, keep going. I am ready to rise above this challenge. I am growing with each and every step. Okay, so I have to light another incense, by the way. That one went out. So this is for the heart chakra. It's Jasmine. So maybe that name's significant. Uh, maybe the heart chakra significant, the greens. Got a little bit in that rotocrosite. Okay, I personally always ask Divine Source Light Creator, Guides of Love and Light Only to connect to. So just keep that in mind. And this is a general reading, not a personal reading. Here we go. Let's read it out of the guidebook. In a distant land of mysteries and uncharted paths, a glowing mountain exists at the cusp of two timelines. Here, the past and future meet and collide at the base of its foothill, causing a fractured break in this earthly dimension. On one side, all that is known is clearly defined, and on the other sits a world that is veiled and sweetly obscured. What? What? Here is a new story destined to be written. This great mountain is a sacred place where heaven and earth meet. A, symbol, uh, a symbolic joining of a physical and spiritual awakening in your life. As you find yourself here, you will unearth the grounded wisdom you need to manifest actual outcomes, catapulting you beyond the hypothetical or planting the seeds of ideas. Sometimes this is no easy feat. The mystical symbology of the mountain has long been used as a motive for overcoming obstacles and great challenges in life, or as a visual map of progress. When we have the mental pro progress to rise above the external stressors we are faced with, the energy of the mountain may appear as an insurmountable challenge in your life, but here you are encouraged to face it head on. With this card comes a gentle warning, but also a powerful gift of clarity and truth. It reveals that circumstances may continue to grow and intensify until everything that blocks your vision must crumble and fall. But once the dust settles, you will see with newfound eyes. I dropped this in the abalone shell. <laughs> in all the ashes of Palo Santo, incense, um, sage, cedar. <laughs> that is so funny. Very, very synchronistic, very significant, okay? Now, um, you may have watched pile number one. You may want to check it out after, but that's totally up to you. This is the last, oh, sorry. We had, this is the last hurdle you must face until you reach that peak, right? Oh, I love this. And with your perseverance will come great rewards. As you move through this mountain, you may feel compelled to stop at the foot of its threshold and rest until you feel settled knowing there is inevitably more beyond the horizon. If you need more time to mull things over, that is perfectly okay. But don't forget the mountain will eventually call you back. This journey is more than written in the stars. Do not be afraid. This key encourages you to release any passiveness that is preventing you from enforcing your grip on this climb. Dispel the negativity or fear of how you will get through it. You are brilliant and resilient. Don't let anything derail you as you find your way, even if it takes a bit longer for you to progress. Imagine what awaits you beyond this next elevation. Your power is rising. Keep going. How can I adjust my view of and approach to the challenges I am faced with? Where are the mountains appearing in my life at this time? Okay. That is really interesting. Elevation, resilience, strength, persevering overcoming the fears and facing fears, right? Awesome. Okay. And it's like connected to the heart, you know, um, of that self-love and abundant love, the flow, the steadiness, the peace, 
peaceful harmony unifying energy okay so we are going to actually use the fairy tale tarot so that could be significant for some of you fairies um the mountains okay here we go what can pile number two expect for this lion's gate portal what can pile number two expect with this lion's gate portal this lion's gate portal Aww. Wow. One more. Just one more. Okay, okay, there it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, what can you expect with this Lionsgate portal? You have the nine of pentacles. Okay, nines are reflecting on how far you've come. And the pentacles is earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Mountain is very earthy, stable. It's a structure. It's a foundation, right? But it's also growing. The Nine of Pentacles is all of those seeds that you planted in the past, everything you've worked hard on, everything you've um, been growing, creating. Um, yeah, hard work, okay? Has reached this harvest. <laughs> has reached this independence and stability and structure fruitful energy um you've done all the hard work and the growth and now it's blooming for you you've already taken care of those seeds there's all these grapes wine could be significant yes this is independent energy it is stability it is success achievement accomplishment it is all of those hard, the hard work you've done has already been done. Like you've already done all that. And now it's letting the fruit bloom. It's, and it's now you picking the fruit. Okay. The seeds can be intentions, manifestations, creativities, the hard work. Now the page of swords. This is air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So pages can be new energy, um, messages, offers, and opportunities. And with it being swords, air, air is all about the mind, mentality, thoughts, beliefs, words, communication. The page of swords is something new and offer a message opportunity to move strategically to a more solid ground, okay? And it's with knowledge and ideas and learning, books, information, and with truth. So all of the hard work you've already done, all the obstacles you've already overcome, um, how far you've already come, everything you've already achieved and accomplished, all of the creativities, the creations, the seeds, the hard work you've done, the work you've put in, all of that is helping you move forward to more solid ground. And it's with ideas, this knowledge, wisdom, information, clarity, and truth. Okay, and then you have a six of pentacles. Yeah, this can be connected to the mentality. Okay, um, the Six of Pentacles is also Earth, uh, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Six of Pentacles is generosity, a generous heart of. It's like a give and take, a law of attraction. It's a, it's a charity, charity work. Um, this give and receive and receiving abilities and gifts, presents. You've already put in the work. You've already put in enough work. Like you're right underneath, literally right underneath that peak. Because that nine of pentacles is almost that ten of pentacles. Which is complete fulfillment and satisfaction and foundation and stability and success. So this Lionsgate portal is going to help you finally reach it. This is help. This is a gift. That's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Okay.
So now it could have something to do material things, financial things, tangible things, as well as beliefs and thoughts and the mentality. Okay. All right. So that's cool. You can expect that for the Lionsgate portal. Now, what are they going to be feeling during this portal? What are they going to be feeling during this portal? Wow. Especially the peak of the Lionsgate portal, the 8th of August, 2024. What are they going to be feeling? Wow. Is that all? That might be it. Oh no, oh my gosh, this is so neat. I love this. What are you going to be feeling? Well, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's all about earthly matters. Earthly, material, tangible, financial, anything in your life, your 3D life, right? Stability, home, um, job, whatever it is. The Queen of Pentacles is grounded, secure, has a security blanket, financially, material, t materially successful well off turns down low ball offers she's this queen she sits on our throne um she has seeded she's already done the seeds right in the harvesting in the hard work and now she's reached that abundance prosperity fulfillment accomplishment achievement um has it all in her 3d life in her world that is neat She's holding this huge pinnacle. So stability, a great foundation, great structure, <sighs> securedness, grounded, and then you have death card. This is a major arcana. Major arcana is a lot of energy. So this death card, this is interesting. This death card is ruled by Scorpio. Scorpio is a water sign and it rules the eighth house in astrology, the 888 portal. The eighth house represents a death rebirth, cycles, changes, transformation, endings and new beginnings, regeneration, the death to begin anew, to rise anew. Okay. And um, it's a number 13 of the major arcanas. Well, 13 is a four. And fourth house is cancer, water, energy. Fourth house is a home, family, structure stability, foundation, nurturing energy. So this death rebirth spiritually, energetically, it could possibly be like a lot of changes in your physical reality. Okay. That is so interesting. So a total transformation, a total change with your stability and structure. Okay, then you have the Ace of Pentacles. Aces is a new beginning. <laughs> it's a whole new seed. And this seed gets her here. Gets you there. And this seed is being offered to you. This is an offer. Opportunity. Gift. A present. For this huge transformation. Huge change. Huge rebirth of stability. Foundation. Structure grounding secure secure a comfort um security prosperity abundance yes that is amazing very very good okay to reach goal a goal a harvest to reach an achievement an accomplishment a dream um in the physical reality okay that is so neat so um that's how you're going to be feeling very grounded very supportive uh feeling like this this cycle this change this transformation this total regeneration a uh, death rebirth and uh this new opportunity you may be getting some kind of new job offer um being gifted something inheritance um maybe it's like lottery or something or uh, some promotion or some kind of certification or graduation 
all right? It's something about what you're desiring in the physical reality and what you've been working towards, right? So cool. All right, so oh, we have to use the Time Traveler's Oracle now. This is by Denise Lynn. Really good. All right, so what energy will pile number two be? Did I call you pile one? I'm so sorry if I did. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you already watch pile one or may want to check it out, you might want to. That's totally up to you. So what energy will pile number two be working with with this specific portal? What energy will pile number two be working with with this Lionsgate portal? What energy will they be working with? This is so funny. You have patience. So when you persevere and you keep moving forward, no matter what challenges and obstacles stand in your way, it's about patience. It's a card number 28. 28 could be significant. 28 is a 10. 10s are about completion, fulfillment, uh, cycles, um, satisfaction, feeling fulfilled and comfortable and steady, stable, and uh, reduces to a one, a new beginning, right? New cycle, new birth, something new, offer opportunity. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Anyway, funny. So this is the under the Bodhi tree, Northern India. The tree with the roots, the stability, very grounded and secure. She is rooted, that queen of pentacles. All right, 28. What energy will you be working with, with this Lionsgate portal? Patience. <laughs> Messages from under the Bodhi tree, Northern India. We're in India in the 5th century, sitting under a Bodhi tree before the meditating figure of the Buddha. We're not alone. One of the other students here whispers to us that Siddhartha Gautama was born as a prince into an arist aristocratic family. As a young man, he led a comfortable life, but was moved by the suffering in the world. Ooh, okay. He renounced his prosperous life for one of poverty asceticism and meditation eventually becoming the founder of buddhism in fact he became enlightened after sitting under this very tree for 49 days without moving wow what incredible patience as buddha casts his wise eyes in our direction we can feel the depth of his serenity it feels like he's looking into our souls there is such enduring stillness within him he feels so patient with the foibles of the world and yet very compassionate despite it all this is a sign that patience is called for do not move forward do not make major decisions or sign contracts knowing will emerge the right direction will appear Absolutely. And uh, you got to be very careful with those things. Communication, contracts, any form of communication, messaging, writing, emails, texting, um, technology of any sort, vehicles, transportation, mentality, uh, thought patterns during a Mercury retrograde, which the Lionsgate portal, 88 portal, is during this Mercury retrograde. So, yeah. The right direction will appear. As you wait, it's not uncommon for your imagination to be sparked. Savor and mull over the information, but do not act on it just yet. Didn't we read about uh, mulling over? Didn't I talk about mull over? I have to check. What the crap? 120, remember? On page 120, that's a uh, 12 or 3. The third house in astrology is ruled by Mercury and Gemini. Communication, transportation, journeys, technology, and the mentality. So I swear this said something about mulling over the challenge in your life, facing head on, letting the dust settle. I don't know. The last hurdle you must face. Hmm. Oh, here you go. If you need more time to mull things over, that is perfectly okay. What's up with that? What's up with the mull things over? 
That's twice now from two different Oracle decks by two different um, creators. That is so funny. Okay, how cool is that? All right, very synchronistic. So now I can't wait to finish this. Um, where was it? Savor and mull over the information. Information was page of sorts. Information, knowledge, books, learning, schooling. Okay, gaining some kind of knowledge. Um, but do not act on it just yet. You would not plant tomato seeds one night and then go shout at the earth the next morning because they are no there are no tomatoes instead you would trust that even if you can't see the results of your efforts <laughs> eventually tomatoes will appear whether you're waiting for an investment a project a relationship or a diet to pay off uh, forbearance is called for beneath the surface your life is transforming you just need to be patient if others are acting badly remember that bad behaviors comes out of fear don't look at this as a time of despairing but as one of preparing for your future to unfold if you're willing to wait a bit your dreams will come in almost mir mir in almost miraculous ways Ooh, communication mercury retrograde that is so neat. Okay. So that's the energy you're going to be working with. Patience. Oh, how cool. Okay. Back to the tarot. So what is the needed change for pile number two with this portal? What is the needed change for pile number two with this portal? Oh, well, it sounded like the music stopped, but it didn't. Okay. So what is the needed change for pile number two? with this portal. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Here we go. What is the needed change for pile number two uh, with this portal? Holy cow! What is the needed change for pile number two with this portal? Do we need one more? Yep, it's right there. Are you kidding me? Jeez, it was stuck between my legs and the table because it folds. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. What does the need to change for you, pile number two, with this portal? Five of sorts. Five changes, transformations, challenges, cycles. Swords, air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, mentality, thoughts, beliefs, words, communication. This is, this is winning at all cost. It can be alienating those around them, blocking others out. Okay. We talked about the blocks, right? Um, it can also be not letting others' opinions and beliefs and words stop you from persevering forward. Okay. So there's that one. It can be like mulling others over, you know, um, uh, bullying, um, challenges with the mentality, uh, challenges with words and communication. Now we have the Knight of Wands. The Knights are the warriors. This Five of Swords is like winning at all costs. It's also like fight for what you are focused on, okay? And the Knight of Wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Knight of Wands comes quickly in and out, back and forth, off and on, very quick, on fire, doesn't uh, hesitate to take action. They just do it. They don't think about it. They just do it, okay? And um, they're flirtatious, passionate, fiery. Uh, they'll set their intentions. Uh, they try to manifest, like, very quickly. And now we have the Emperor. This is a major arcana. A number four. Okay, Aries energy. Aries is the ram. So rams can be a little bullheaded, right? But um, it rules the, Aries rules the first house in the zodiac wheel, which is new things, how you step into new situations, what you portray yourself, how you portray yourself to the world. And the four is stability, structure, foundation, Okay, and the emperor is the king of all kings, divine masculine, the throne. Okay, they have, they're the king of all kings. They have all the tools and the resources they need. They're the boss. They're the leader. Okay, they're a manifester. They're charismatic. They are, um, 
truthful uh they know how to play the game right um um they're absolutely stable they hold the keys and information they hold the secrets they have the throne so the change that's needed is too focused on what you want like taking action so fastly like you're not even going to think about it like i gotta do this right now so that's the change of what how you're leading uh your desire um how you're leading yourself towards your desire um uh it's needed there's needed stability there there needs to be mm, grounded energy um true leadership skills um and not being bullheaded in a way right um and just just going for it like quickly in out back forth off on just like this and then mental instability uh action taking instability you know um also not caring of what other people think and believe and say right but it's also letting others there needs to be a balance and stability in letting others um help you in a way right um the change of hold off wait hold on listen what are you being guided to do here look at the pyramids in the background like a mountain patience slowing down sit <laughs> you know right okay very interesting um yeah no action needs to be taken right like right this second Something's going to be revealed to you. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Maybe it's a boss. <laughs> Maybe a father figure. Um, an older person than you. A masculine figure? Possibly. Okay. All right. So now we're going to use another oracle. And this one is the Magical Dimensions Second Edition by Lightstar Creations so fun. Love this one. Okay. All right. So, um, yes. What is pile number two going to be manifesting with this Lionsgate portal? I'm so curious. What is pile number two going to be manifesting with this Lionsgate portal? What is pile number two going to be manifesting with this Lionsgate portal? Okay, you have a utopia. That's amazing. Utopia, the castle, the dream, this beautiful stability and structure, this leader, boss, utopia. It's a card 43. 43 could be significant. 43 is also number seven. So seven can be seventh house energy of Libra. Libra is an air sign. It's the scales and it's about relationships, partnerships, um, possible contracts, but it's also unity, harmony, balance, yin, yang, truth, um, two energies, two opposite energies, right? And so it says tranqu tranquility, rest, and harmony. Rest like patience. Wow, harmony. This is really neat. Okay, so what are you going to be manifesting with this Lionsgate portal? Your utopia? There's a fairy. There's a fairy. I used the fairy tale tarot for you. There's two dolphins, some crystals, a crystal on top of the temple um, palace. Okay. Oh, how cool. And there's this tiny little fairy back here. Awesome. The peak, the peak, the very top of this palace, castle, mountain, you know? That's neat. 43. What 
are you going to be manifesting tranquility, rest, harmony, image connected with burgundy azure color, right? Um, the Magical Kingdom Panoramic is the original artwork title. So, Utopia resonates to that of soul bliss. This sacred ray is attuned to frequencies of harmony and healing. It transports the soul to otherworldly dimensions that intensely appeal to the soul's core. It blends all elements of ether, air, fire, water, ice, and earth together in a cohesive world of unlimited serenity. This expansive ray profoundly affects the soul's nostalgia to be transported to an unlimited paradise of perfect light and love. Give yourself a reprieve from chaos. This can be chaotic right here, okay? Have you been experiencing a whirlwind of three-dimensional living? Tangible, material, financial, okay? Now it's time to slow down and experience peace. You may be fondly recalling a past serene dimensional lifetime and be desiring to return to this place. The urge to travel or an opportunity for this may soon surface. A search for relocation to a more satisfying geographical location may be in order. Maybe it is a home for some of you relocating. All right. Companion crystal is coral. This almost has a coral look to it. Just slightly. Rhodochrosite. That's neat. And azurite. Love it. And the companion essential oil is marjoram. Ending on page... If that was on page 82. So you got 28? Right. Yeah. 28 patience. And then mirrored rest. 82. 10, 10. So 10s are about satisfactions, fulfillments, endings for new beginnings, uh, content, um, feeling successful, feeling satisfied. That is so cool. Manifesting your utopia? Ha! Huh. Wow. All right. Now back to the tarot again. What can pile number two be aware of? With this peak of the Lionsgate portal, the 888 portal. What will, or what can they be aware of? Uh-huh, exactly. What can or should you be aware of? Well, I'm going to take that as well. Five of Wands and the Hermit. Five of Wands is Leo, a Leo card. So we're going to be in Leo season, the Lion, right? And um, Leo rules the fifth house in astrology, which is the heart, love, pleasure, creativity, amusement, laughter, joy, perseverance, and fortitude. Uh, the five of wands is battle, struggle, fighting, tug of war, butting heads, arguments. It's all conflict, butting heads, tug of war, fighting, war. Okay. Be aware of that. And then the Hermit. It's a Major Arcana. It's a number nine of the Major Arcanas. Oh my goodness. So nines are reflecting on how far you've come. Knowing that you're almost to the ten. Almost there, right? And um, this is amazing. The Hermit card is ruled by Virgo. So Virgo is an Earth sign. And it rules the sixth house in astrology of health, wellness, the body, daily routines, boundaries, and organization. This may have something to do with work relations, you guys, for some of you. Anyway, that's going within. That's retreating. From fighting. <sighs> retreat, retreat. Pause. Wrist. Holy cow. This is a retreat. Meditation. Pulling back. Going within. Doing the inner work, doing the going within, introspection, finding the inner light, the core of who you truly are, and pulling that out so you can light those uncharted paths ahead. <laughs> Perfect, right? That's what you can be aware of. I love it. Okay, so now we are going to use the Lyran Oracle. Okay. So what will this Lionsgate portal activate for our pile number two? 
and being you pile number two, two second house is Taurus energy, um, earthly. The second house is anything with the 3D world, 3D um, tangible, material, financial roots, um, anything in the 3D plane. So earthly matters. Okay, so what can or what will this Lionsgate portal activate for our pile number two? This is so freaking cool. You have a 44, card 44. Fourth house, cancer, water, energy. Fourth house is home, family, structure, stability, foundation, celebration. 44 is an eight. So eight, eight, eight portal, the Lionsgate portal. This is so freaking cool. It says galactic victory. Okay, victory, rebirth. You had the death card and full potential. There's a lion, of course. Um, so 44 being an eight, eight is the infinity symbol of as above, so below, spiritual, physical, the connection between two. And the eighth house in astrology is ruled by Scorpio, a water sign. It is a death, rebirth, changes, cycles, transformation, endings and new beginnings, regeneration. Eighth house can be money and intimacy. Regeneration like the rising phoenix from the ashes. How freaking synchronistic is this the last one it's the very last card in this deck yep the lyran oracle card 44 oh what will this lionsgate portal activate for you pal two the collective has slowed their heart rate we talked about your heart in the beginning merged with the intelligence of the planet and returned fully to their galactic awareness to bring forth generations of peace for all beings on earth these are the stories that will be communicated to the entire universe after your st star soul mission is accomplished here on earth what this feels like is a unified heart-based planet that has gone from a war mentality to co-creative harmony and unification with all existence. Can you imagine for a second what it looks like when seven billion souls work together in harmony? Can you see what your earth looks like when humans begin to be led by their heart? We want you to experience this at the, at the core of your starseed essence, allowing for it to vibrate all around you and expand into the life field. From our multi-dimensional lens, this reality is much closer than you may imagine. Yep almost at that peak with the ability for planetary consciousness to transform at the blink of an eye. We share these visions to bring forth within you inspiration, hope, and imagination for you are the frequency that your earth needs at this moment. Recognize who you are and honor the beauty that is you through self-love and kind, compassionate thoughts through this internal honoring your per perception shifts and you turn and you in turn seed the reality with divine inspiration through all whom cross your path. Be loved. It is time to believe in what is possible for you and your entire collective. Know you have been sent here alongside many other sacred soul star souls to bring your planet into the new earth frequency. I do feel that's a huge part of this Lionsgate portal, the 88 portal rebirth. All right. Until then, your universal allies are on standby, <laughs> waiting for the day when Earth proclaims a galactic victory, not through the forced liberation of others, but through the empowerment of you liberating yourselves. This card arrives when now is an optimal time to move confidently in your life path, knowing that the entire universe is supporting your life mission. If there is any residue from false media programming of what is possible for Earth, now is an opportune moment to right reconnect with your inner mastery and remember the world that you have been sent here to create these remembrances serve as interdimensional gateways that empower all your field honor these codes within an additional meaning for this card could serve as a guidance to start bringing forth the new earth frequencies into your environment through service perhaps there is a community initiative or some idea you can seed into your field to make others more connected to each other remember that generosity card gifts abilities presence law of attraction give and take all right 
you are being guided to open the doorway of service and act upon ideas that help others remember whom they are. Victory, rebirth, new opportunities, doors opening, abundance, full potential, self-kindness, universal support, divine manifestation, star family, service, and offerings. Remember the offer opportunity in the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles? This is so freaking cool. I love it. All right. Now back to the tarot and then we'll pull one last message. How cool. That's what it'll activate for you. Okay. How can pile number two use this energy from the Lionsgate portal best? How can pile number two use this energy from the Lionsgate portal best? One card, please. I'm going to knock it. How can pile number two use this energy from the Lionsgate portal best? Of course, the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to take that one, too. All right, Ace, Eight of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Eight, Pentacles, Earth. Lionsgate portal, Earth, okay? That talked about the new Earth frequencies, the new Earth, right? Well, Eight of Pentacles is keep working. Keep working and putting in the effort. This is hard work, uh, working, creativity, um, ma mastering uh, your creations, creativity. It's creating intentions manifesting um reaching keeps keep on reaching for the harvest for that fruitful energy for that accomplishment that achievement that desire okay keep working and then the ace of cups ace is a new beginning cups is water cancer price scorpio ace of cups is the heart chakra it is self-love, unconditional love, total peace, harmony, um, Christ consciousness, heart consciousness, total abundant love and light, healing energy, overflow of feelings and emotions. Absolutely. Like the chalice, right? Heart. Healing. Wow. Oh, the earth healing. Peace, harmony, unity. All right, now we're gonna pull your last message and we are using the sweet ass affirmations to, okay, for confirmation, for clarity, for anything else, please, for pile number two to end the reading on the Lionsgate portal, 888. One card, please, thank you. Oh, I love this freaking card deck. I rock out to knock my blocks out. Moving frequency, right? I rock out to knock my blocks out. Look at this. The sun or star. Sirius. <laughs> Let me read you the back. When you get stuck at a creative roadblock, move your sexy body and get your juices flowing. Creating motion in your body releases emotional blocks that may halt your progress. Are you kidding me? Blast your favorite music and wiggle those booty cheeks. <laughs> Bust out your neon headband and yoga mat and stretch out your meat suit. Jump your partner's bones and get your boogie on. When you rock the F out, you knock your creative blocks out. Shake, rattle, and roll, baby. I added the baby at the end, but... <laughs> How perfect is that, right? That is incredible. Perfect! Perfect to end your reading. All right, pile number two. This was your reading for the Lionsgate 888 portal. Okay, it was so cool. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as me or more. <laughs> and um, thank you so much just for being here. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, if you're interested in a more personal private reading, you can always reach out to me. You can comment below or email me. My email's in the description below, okay? It is awakenedintuitives10 at yahoo.com. All right, guys, take what resonates, 
leave whatever may not resonate. Uh, use your discernment. If it did not resonate, you can choose another pile. But um, as always, thank you, thank you. Um, abundant love and light, so be it, so it is. And I will see you guys in the next one. And if you did not watch pile number one, you might want to. So uh, just use your discernment on that one as well. Follow your intuition. All right, guys. Bye. All right, pile number three. Welcome. You chose this really beautiful angelite or angelite stone crystal. along with move with grace optimized light inner and outer forgiveness that's really really beautiful especially with the angelite or angelite i love that so this angelite reminds me of the angel guidance you know and uh guardian angels as well as the throat chakra with the blue the throat chakra being truth speaking truthful energy just um balanced um just you know uh clarity okay and then move with grace like this flow and um the optimized light there are tiny tiny little specks of sparkles in here which is so cool and then the inner and outer forgiveness how healing is that that brings flow um self-love uh, abundant love for all everything on the inside and outer right so very pretty maybe the grace is significant uh, maybe it's a name of somebody you know maybe not but i wanted to see what was on this card there's like flowers and she's in the water. Um, it looks like some motherly energy. This could be significant for some of you. And there's a spiral. It does remind me of an ammonite right here. Okay. All right. So that is connected to water, ocean life, I believe. So that could be significant. All right. So I'm going to look up the um, Angelite, Angelite, and the Ammonite. So these A names too. A, a new alphabetical order, or the beginning, or something with A, angel, you know? Wow, really cool. Let's read that out of the guidebook, okay? This is the Dream Gate Oracle by Danielle Noel. I thought this was absolutely perfect. I just got it. So, um, Dream Gate, Lion's Gate Portal. So, really fun. Okay, let's find out what page this is on. I always ask and connect to Divine Source Light Creator, Guides of Love and Light Only. And this is a general reading, not a personal private reading. It's on 123. 123, go. 123, now. 123, it's here. Maybe you count 123 a lot. Forward steps, forward movement, step by step. That, that is neat. On page 123. So that does add up to a five. Fives could be significant. Five is about changes, cycles, and can be challenges. Um, forgiveness is challenging, right? But very healing. But the fifth house is ruled by Leo, the lion, lion's gate portal, the fire sign. And the fifth house is the heart and love, pleasure, creativity, amusement, laughter, joy, perseverance, and fortitude. All right, cool. So we got that a lot for each pile. So let's read this. Move with grace. Optimize light, inner and outer forgiveness. This is raising the vibration of you, okay? Celebrate yourself, full heart, full spirit. I move with integrity. I act, speak, and express with kindness. The dictionary definition of grace is of a noun that refers to elegance, refinement, and beauty in movement or action. It can also refer to a favor or kindness shared beyond what is due or expected or a state of being that is blessed by the divine. Being in grace means sharing a tender vulnerability from a place of spiritual integrity without expectation. Your inner frequency contains the brilliant architecture of your soul. When this card is revealed, you are encouraged to dive into the grace you hold within. Tune into your life force and reclaim the, the keys that guide you to your highest, most optimal self. We are living through an evolutionary era where only what is true, authentic, and aligned with love will remain strong and sustainable in the long run. Bam. Yeah, that is absolutely correct. You know, oh, how cool. Everything we cling to from a place of fear will fade away and fall to the wayside. 
All that moves away from grace is directed and formed through resistance. Let the internal forces within you gently adjust as you continuously learn to move with even more grace through your thoughts, your choices, and your daily self-love. Over time, you may have learned that what you authentically share is a reflection of your soul and that there is no need to hide your beauty anymore. As you do this, you are safe to be expressive and open your heart to the world. Continue to collect the experiences that best serve your growth and spirit. Learn to forgive yourself and others. Holding on to resentment will only force you to swim against the tides. Let your waters be calm and move with gentle grace. Every moment you experience, every belief you hold, every word you share, all add up to write the beautiful story of your life. <laughs> wow. As you move through these chapters, try and remember the best way to navigate your steps. One, two, three, right? Find joy in the liminal moments. Laugh as often as you can as you invoke more joy. As you love yourself in grace, you are also able to love others as well. Don't forget to play and celebrate your childlike wonder. Let go of what closes you off from life. Take the frivolous details less seriously. They are fleeting after all. Reclaim the peace that is your divine birthright. How would you like to refine your movements? How can I move with more grace in my life? How can I identify the grace around and within me more? I love that. And it ends on page 125. So that is a number eight. I feel that is very significant for this 88 portal. Absolutely. Eight. Eight is the infinity symbol. As above, so below. Inner, outer. Physical, spiritual. And the eighth house is Scorpio energy. It is death, rebirth, cycles, changes, transformations, endings, and new beginnings. Um, which can be challenging at times when we're going through these transformations and rebirths, right? Okay, cool. So now we are going to use the artist decoded. This is so funny. You've got these A's and that reminds me of alpha. You've got this one, two, three, these steps, um, this writing the story, creating a new alphabet, writing a new chapter or creating a new chapter. Now you have the artist decoded. Wow. Okay. Decoded. Love it. Okay. Now, um, what can pile number three expect for this lion's gate portal? This specific Lionsgate portal, what can they expect? Wow, okay. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. Sorry, I was babysitting my baby nephew earlier. No, uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's gonna be one here soon. He's so cute. Anyway. Maybe that's significant to some of you. This is so freaking cool. What can pile number three expect with this specific Lionsgate portal? It's so freaking awesome. Is that it? Oh. Okay. All right. Interesting. So the first card is the seven of wands. That's fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Action, fight your passion. So the seven of wands is um, standing for your right, standing up for your birthright. It is protecting yourself and um, everything you've built. It is like a protective bubble, a barrier, a boundary, healthy boundaries. It's putting up healthy boundaries and speaking your truth. Um, what is your divine birthright? Standing up for that, okay? So freaking cool. Seven of Wands. Defending your ground. Then you have strength. It's a major arcana. Leo, fire, and number eight. Pile number one got this card as well. So maybe you watch pile one, I don't know. But this being this, this strength Leo card, okay? This is super significant, um for this Lionsgate portal for you, okay? Forgiveness and healing and protecting. What is your divine birthright, okay? Eight, infinity symbol, death, rebirth, cycles, transformation and change. Strength is courage. It's being courageous. It is uh, passion and action. It is taming the beast, taming any obstacles that stand in your way and perseveres forward. It's fortitude. <laughs> creativity um and having loyalty and lo it's loyal and loyalty taming the beast the beast can live in the mind 
All right. Courageously moving forward. Uh, companion. Um, this courage. Passion. Fire. Action. Um, taming obstacles. Taming challenges that stand in your way. Okay. And then you have the Knight of Swords. Knights are warriors. And the Swords is error. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Which rules over the mind, mentality, thoughts, beliefs, words, and communication. The Knight of Swords can be rash and reckless and quick. Quick to speak before they think about it first. Um, but they're, they have the right intention of like truth. But um, they can be very... They're the fastest moving knight in the tarot. Um, so this is, this is happening fast. This is coming in very, very, very fast out of the clouds. Okay. And, um, it's also like bringing in this truth of your divine birthright. So what you can expect is you like being fueled or something to stand your ground, speak your truth, put up boundaries, um, stand up for your birthright, taming obstacles, taming challenges, persevere forward courageously. All right. And this is happening fast, very fast coming out of the clouds with the armor, knight, a warrior. This is so neat. Loyal loyalty. Uh, how awesome. Okay. So really good. Now, what are they going to be feeling during this portal? What is pile number three going to be feeling during this portal? What are they going to be feeling? Okay, I seen that one shuffling. What are they going to be feeling? <laughs> Pretty neat. Oh my gosh. You might have just watched all of the piles one and two. What are they going to be feeling? Is that all? Okay. Well, you have another major arcana, okay? Major arcana is a lot of energy. Strength cards and major arcana. Now you have justice. So justice is ruled by Libra. Libra is an air sign. And air is about the mind, mentality, thoughts, beliefs, words, communication. Libra rules the seventh house of relationships, partnerships, um, balance, justice, clarity, truth. That's justice right here. It's a number 11 of the major arcanas. 11 is two coming together, okay? Um, the 11th house is Aquarius energy, air, and it's about hopes, wishes, friends, community, innovations, humanitarianism, and uniqueness. Um, this is about the scales balancing out, yin yang. It could be physical, spiritual. It is truly your divine birthright. This is justice. This is justice for you. Bringing in the truth, clarity, karma, law, court, order. Archangel Michael sword. That can be that very quick energy. <laughs> Feeling justified, justice, balanced, truthful. Is it focused? Then you have death card, another major arcana. And the death card is ruled by Scorpio. Scorpio is a water sign. It rules the eighth house in astrology. Of death, rebirth, cycles, changes, transformation, endings, and new beginnings. The rising phoenix from the ashes. It's a number 13 of the major arcanas. 13 could be significant. Um, or 4. 4th house in astrology is ruled by cancer, a water sign. It is home, family, structure, stability, foundation, celebration. This is a total rebirth of justice for you. What your divine birthright is. Absolutely, 100%. No questions. Look at the star. That, okay, the Lionsgate portal happens when the Sirius, the star, dog star, it, it's the brightest star in the night sky. It's closest to the earth and when the sun is in Leo. You got the Leo card and look at that. Total death rebirth. Total cycle. Total transformation. Ending a new beginning. Total change. All right. Your divine birthright. That's crazy. And then the queen of pentacles. So pentacles is earth. It is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Queen of Pentacles is secure, grounded, 
um, taken care of, has a security blanket, um, is stable. Um, she has reached her harvest. Um, it's, she's fruitful. Um, she always receives opportunities and offers. Um, she already planted her seed a long time ago and has done the hard work of taking care of that seed. And now she has her throne and her harvest. Um, the fruits of her labor, uh, she already has her hands on. So this Queen of Pentacles can be your lifetime here now. Earthly reality, earthly matters, 3D life, your stability and structure in your life. It's pretty amazing. The seed planter. It does not want to focus, huh? So you're going to be feeling truth and clarity, a fresh perspective, balanced and in harmony, which is peaceful, yin yang. All right. And um, this feeling, this uh, rebirth, this total change of your life your 3D life of your lifetime here, now. Stability, secure. Uh, she's financially, materially abundant, well-off, prosperous, abundance, very abundant, prosperous, taken care of, totally stable, very grounded. That is neat. Okay, so now we're gonna do an oracle. And this one is the Time Traveler's Oracle by Denise Lynn. Okay, very curious on this one. So what energy will pile number three be working with, with this specific portal, the Lionsgate portal? What energy will pile number three be working with, with this portal? Pile number three be working with with this Lionsgate portal, 88 portal. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, you got happiness. It's a number 19. There, um, there's snowy, snowy mountains, and there's clouds behind them. Um, pile number two got mountain, but this is happiness. It's a number 19. There's another crescent moon in this temple, this city. That's crazy. Um, yeah, you may have watched pile number two. You may want to check it out, but anyway, so, um, 19 could be significant. 19 is a number 10, right? And 10 is fulfillment, completion, success, abundance, prosperity, uh, feeling fulfilled, and accomplished a change in a cycle of death rebirth too and um reduces to a one so one is a new beginning a new cycle a rebirth a new seed new opportunity new offer for balance clarity truth justice all right and um it's shambhala the himalayas so freaking cool all right let's read this out of the guidebook so yeah what energy will you be working with happiness what really makes you happy? What brings you happiness? Messages from Shambhala Himalayas. We land in Shambhala located in the desolate Himalayan mountains between Tibet and Mongolia. It feels timeless here. The mountains around us are craggy, snow covered and glistening with ice, but we drop down into a valley of lush green vegetation. The air is fragrant with the scent of flowers. <laughs> the Sanskrit name Shambhala means the source of happiness. In Tibetan tradition, it is known as a mythical spiritual valley kingdom of majestic beauty. Oh my goodness. However, we speak to lamas who tell us that Shambhala is real, and so we set off to find it. The residents of this rarefied valley come forward to greet us. We feel so safe 
and accept it exactly as we are. Same message. There's a luxuriant grace. Move with grace. Again, grace. There's a luxuriant grace, serenity, and vitality in the people who live here. They seem illuminated by spirit. We both agree that we feel we can totally relax. It's the most joyous place we've ever visited. It's okay to be happy, truly. This is the time to do what gives you joy. Be still, be open, be happy. The sweet nectar of life is awaiting you. You don't need to suffer to grow. <laughs> it is not no it is not more noble to put the happiness of others ahead of your own. There's the seven of wands standing up for your truth, your birthright, you what your bubble, you protecting yourself and you know. Wow. Okay. Um where am I? True joy comes from listening to the whispers of your soul and taking action. Today, take steps to expand your happiness. Maybe you can't get it all done today, but you need to start somewhere, so why not now? If you wait for circumstances to be different, you may never begin. Do not put off happiness. Support is all around you. If you just open your heart to receive it, if you've been waiting for your happy ending, know that it's time to stop being a seeker and become a finder. This is so cool. And then it ends on page 77. So 77, that may be significant. Seventh house, okay. Libra energy, right? You did get the Libra card. Scales of justice, relationships, partnerships, um, unity, balance, truth, clarity. I have absolutely feel this is your birthright. True, your true happiness. Wow, um, pretty neat. So that is the energy that you'll be working with during this uh, Lionsgate portal, especially the peak of it. Okay, so now what is the needed change for pile number three with this portal? What is the needed change for pile number three with this portal? Yeah, okay. What is the needed change? Whoa. Oh my goodness. You got so many major arcanas already. Okay, so the first one though is the page of pentacles. Uh, pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, earthly matters, earthly things, tangible things, your lifetime here now. Pages can be younger energies, but it is always something new and offer a message and an opportunity to plant new seeds. So you can reach that fruition, the harvest, the fulfillment, the completion, the goal, okay? Oh my gosh, this is the this new seed, uh, new seeds um, to really tend to and grow and work on um, for an achievement, for an accomplishment, okay? So there's that. Then you have the lovers, a major arcana. This is a number six of the major arcanas. Six is the divine embodiment of love. So the lovers is actually ruled by Gemini. Gemini is an air sign and it's connected to Mercury. And um, it rules the third house of communication, transportation, journeys, technology, and the mentality. The lovers is a choice, a decision um, for unity and harmony and balance. So this new seed for uh, this, this new opportunity, this new offer, this new message for this new seed to grow into something very beautiful, very fruitful, very in tune and in harmony and um, balanced. Um, the lovers can be a relationship. Totally it can be. Um, so take what resonates there, but it's about this um, choice. We all free will. Anything can change, right? And um, we manifest our reality so there's that and then we have the tower another major arcana so this is a number 16 so interesting you had six and now 16 
16's a seven again. Seventh house, Libra energy, air, relationships, partnerships, and you had the lovers. Okay. And uh, this could be with yourself, but the seventh house, relationships, partnerships, balance, harmony, truth, justice, clarity, the true sword. And the tower is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a crumbling of a faulty foundation. Nothing will ever be the same. This is inevitable change. Okay. Falling out of the tower, the tower crumbling, pulling the rug out from underneath your feet, falling out of the tower. So you can build a better, more solid foundation more solid structure. This is a new opportunity, a new offer. And it's all about free will, a choice, a decision. And it's in unity, for unity and harmony and peace and balance and yin yang for this much needed change. <laughs> yeah. What is the um, needed change <laughs> for pile number three? For with this portal to build a much better solid more solid foundation structure stability home could be relationship and it can be with yourself maybe a significant other or maybe a loved one all right um we did say mother before um when i was talking about this one okay but it doesn't have to be all right so just take what resonates all right now we are going to use another oracle. This is the Magical Dimensions Oracle by Lightstar, the second edition. Really good one. Oh, how crazy. All these major arcanas, major events, major energies, huge shifts. Okay, so what is pile number three going to be manifesting with this Lionsgate portal? Can't wait to see what you get. What is pile number three going to be manifesting with this Lionsgate portal? Exploration. It's a number 15. So 15 in the major arcanas of the tarot is the devil card, um, which is ruled by Capricorn. Capricorn's an earth sign. It rules the 10th house of career, public image, social status. But um, the devil can be anything that's toxic negative, fearful, doubtful, addictive, harmful, poisonous, tempting, things that are just toxic, you know, which could be faulty things, 3D belief systems, uh, 3D reality, um, things like that, right? Um, but the 15 can be a six. Six is the divine embodiment of love. You have the sixth major arcana, the lovers. Okay, so also the sixth house in astrology is ruled by Virgo, another earth sign. It rules the sixth house of health, wellness, daily routines, boundaries, organization, um, daily routines. But the boundary sticks out for me, uh, or for, to me, for you. <laughs> Exploration, boldness, unknown, limitless. Are you freaking kidding me? You full, you are l unlimited, okay? And you know this belief of possibly yourself or how you feel about yourself maybe it's just subconsciously these programmings um from the 3d outside world right the world uh that felt faulty foundation is crumbling absolutely the truth is keeps coming out being more and more and more exposed exploration boldness seven of wands standing up speaking your truth right standing up for your birthright unknown and limitless let's read that out of the guidebook so what is Pile number three, going to be manifesting with this landscape portal. Here we go. Um, the image connected with this card is deep magenta white color ray. Okay. Now the original artwork title is Cosmic Portal. She changed the name. She changed the name from Cosmic Portal to Exploration. We're talking about this Lionsgate portal. Explore, exploration resonates to that of mystery and exploration. This magical ray engages a soul's desire for experiencing new states of being. It helps a soul pursue unrealized dreams and goals, activates innov innovative ideas and inventions, and initiates a soul's motivational purpose. The number of mystical and fantastical doorways and portals in deep space stretch the imagination to new limits. 
This mind bending ray helps with expansion of the mind, body, and soul to assimilate with the vast unknowns and integrate the sense of adventure within our hearts. Do not limit your thinking right now. You must be willing to be open to new experiences as the sky is the limit for you right now. Unexpected situations and new discoveries may occur soon. So be ready. Although the unknown may be scary, it will lead you to greater good. Trust in moving forward. <laughs> moving with grace, right? Companion crystals are smoky quartz and sugalite. Companion essential oil is dorado azul. Pretty neat. Perfect confirmations for sure. And that ends or is on page 54. 54 could be significant. 54 is a nine. Nines are reflecting on how far you've come. Knowing on where you are now, being grateful, it's humility. And then allowing for the contentment, the, the, the goal, the desire, the dream, the wish to come in. It's allowing that to come in. Okay. Um, just beautiful. So that's what you're going to be manifesting with this landscape portal. Wow. Okay. Back to the tarot for a minute. All right. So what can pile number three be aware of? And it is during a Mercury retrograde and that is connected to mentality, belief patterns, thought patterns, words and communication. So you have to double check these things and rethink them through before you say, you know, so that makes sense too. All right. So what can pile number three be aware of? What? King of Pentacles. You had the Queen of Pentacles. Now you have two counterparts in the Lover's card. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Earth, Energy. It could be with somebody in this lifetime here now. Your earthly reality, your earth life, you know, here now. <laughs> really? You have the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Well, the King of Pentacles is absolutely this leader and of others and um, very grounded, secure, rooted, uh, very stable, um, pretty patient and um always gets these opportunities and offers and um has reached his abundance and fruitful uh uh energies this harvest and prosperity very stable very grounded totally opposite of the tower right but that the faulty one is crumbling so you can have that king of pentacles total contentment, fulfillment, stability, being the king or queen, you know, just so cool. Being aware of that. What? The castle, the palace, the, the city, the, your world. Okay. I'm going to pull one more. Okay, be aware of what can pile number three be aware of with this King of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. I love it. All right, Six of Pentacles. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Earth, Energy. Six of Pentacles is two energies working together. It's charity, generosity, a give and take, love, attraction, giving and receiving. Um, this balanced energy between two. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. The lovers, exactly. This is presence, gifts, receiving gifts and abilities. Um, this is donations and receiving help. Giving help and receiving help. Wow. Yeah, being helped to reach that abundance, prosperity, um, st stability, foundation, fruitful energy being provided for, you know, <laughs> that is so cool. So that's what you can be aware of. Now we're going to do the Lyran Oracle and then the Tarot, tarot and um, one more message after that. So the Lyran Oracle, have to do this one. 
Okay. So what will this Lionsgate portal activate for pile number three? I'm so excited to see. What will this Lionsgate portal activate for our pile number three? It's close. I seen that one. I seen that one shuffling. It's a spiral. It's this whole other galaxy. Wow. So it's a card 42. 42 could be significant. 42 is a six. Six is a divine embodiment of love. You just had the six of pentacles. You had the lover's card. It's the number six. Look in alignment here. In alignment here. Six, six, six. It doesn't have to be negative. Okay. It's the divine embodiment of love. Six houses ruled by Virgo, an earth sign. And it's the sixth house is the health, the wellness, the body, daily routines, boundaries, and organization. So neat. All right. And it says fusion, fusing the two together. Balanced schedule, heart living, tantric union. Wow. Oh my goodness. Pretty cool. Let's read this for you. This is a little bit of a longer one, so let's do this. What will this Lionsgate portal activate for you? Pile number three. Fusion, the fabric of your earth can be broken down into two major components. The tower, crumbling of a faulty foundation, 3D, third dimension. The solid base matter of physical existence and the subtler spirit energy of the etheric. These two aspects weave together and fuse their properties forward to bring into reality all that exists. For simplicity's sake, we can refer to these two foundations as the natural plane and the spirit plane with the beauty of this existence being that no matter where you go in our universe, spirit is always found in the physical and the physical is always found in the spirit. This could be you and yourself. <laughs> Through the, this inner standing, the human can begin to incorporate these properties into the actions of all, of all that they do to align with harmonic balance. Say, for example, that a certain individual has an ambition to run a marathon and is seeking to tap into discipline and willpower to accomplish this goal. One aspect of the preparation can be an earth-based planning regime consisting of schedule, where to run, what to eat, where to sign up for the marathon, etc. But another component is combining the spirit-based frequency where one can incorporate uh, certain practices such as meditation to get higher insight into how to train properly or to charge their body with healing frequency while they are running. We find that when the human combines these two foundations of the spirit and physical, yeah, this is exactly right for you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, in all that they do, they find an equilibrium that leads to great success in all they do. Are you freaking kidding? Great success, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, lovers. Another example on the opposite end in end in is what? Another example on the opposite end is say an individual wants to access certain spiritual abilities from past future lifetimes. In addition to performing spirit-based practices such as tapping into the Akashic Records, past life meditation, energy healing, etc. They can also engage in action in the physical by exploring specific countries or ancient cultures that they resonate with, traveling there, trying the cuisine, and experiencing this exploration from a grounded level. Exploration. And you've had a lot of earth energy here. Grounding energy, right? That's amazing. This path of fusion is necessary for your world is made of spirit and earth and to engage in fusion bridges hem hemispheres within your divine temple and creates harmonic balance in your life. Your Lyran family presents this card when your current situation is seeking a balanced fusion of spirit and physicality that can totally... Yeah, the lovers, the inner and the outer, right? Spiritual and physical. Okay. 
go into your inner awareness and begin to assess what is needing balance at this moment in your life. This assessment can be applied to any situations, goals, relationships, or just the current moment to find what is needed for harmonic balance in your life. Um, they pile two got a card like that harmonic resolution. I believe it was. Know, dear Starseed, that you are a multidimensional soul who has arrived onto a planet of polarities to fuse multiple angles together as one. Angles. It almost reminds me of angels, you know, angel eye, angel eye. Pretty cool. When this harmonic balance is established through fusion, you accelerate and your planet anchors heaven into the planetary grids. Seek this balance and become the living representation of the new earth consciousness balanced schedule embodied star codes living in the heart tantric union harmony and manifestation this is what will this lion's gate portal activate for you the merging and fusion of the physical and spiritual heaven and earth the bridge you are the bridge right all right back to the tarot for a minute and then we'll do your last message Sweet. So how can pile number three use this energy from the Lionsgate portal best? So how can pile number three use this energy from the Lionsgate portal best? Okay. Nope. How can pile number three use this energy from the Lionsgate portal best? Of course. One more. Oh my goodness. Okay. How can you use this energy from the Lionsgate portal best? You have the page of swords. So air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy. Swords being truth, the mentality, thoughts, beliefs, words, communication. Um, the page is something new. An offer, a message, and an opportunity. This is an offer and an opportunity. And it is to move to a more solid ground with learning, research, knowledge, books, information. Strategically moving to a more solid ground. And then the Six of Cups. Well, this is water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Another six, okay? Well, this reminds me of having healthy boundaries with your family, loved ones. Because the Six of Cups can be roots, lineage, generations, ancestors, family, memories, childhood memories. All right? So this is an opportunity. Take this opportunity, offer, to strategically move to more solid ground with all that you've learned, all the information, wisdom, and knowledge, um, inner knowing, inner standing, um, research, whatever it may be, to this more solid ground of, I feel like having healthy boundaries with your childhood memories. I feel this is forgiveness with childhood memories, maybe family, um, maybe some others that have hurt you in the past growing up or just in the past in general. Okay. Six, the divine embodiment of love. That's how you can work with this energy best. Page of Swords. I'm going to have to pull that too. And the Six of Cups. Roots, lineage, the past, memories, childhood, generations, ancestors just memories in general it is like yeah forgiveness moving forward you know uh with forgiveness moving with grace um loving yourself and all those even those that have hurt you you know it's hard right but that's very very healing okay all right and what will help bring in this new earth this dimensional shift you know Okay, let's get your last message, pile number three. Three is about 
communication, uh, mentality, uh, cooperation, teamwork, a made of mother crone, life, death, rebirth, three is like a trinity. So, yeah. All right. So how, oh, let's um just get, sorry, we're using the Sweet House Affirmations 2 edition. Let's get a confirmation or uh, any other advice, whatever um, pile number three can use, please, to end their reading. Lionsgate portal. One card, please. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. That came out before. I don't know if you've seen it. It's right here. So it was totally meant to come out. I do believe this was the one. It says, oh my gosh, this is so cool. There's two mushrooms here and some more birds. Okay. <sighs> mushrooms can be almost delusional, but it's very good for depression. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, as I align my habits, decisions, and actions with my dreams, my creative ideas become real things. Absolutely. Let me read you the back now. The world abounds with stimulating distractions and it's easy to lose yourself in a labyrinth of activities, projects, and directions. But you'll never complete any journey if you keep changing your route. Bring your dreams to reality by aligning your habits, decisions, actions, goals, and core visions with each other in a, in a hierarchy like your chakras. Cultivate habits so you can make better decisions that support the actions you will take to reach your goals, which in turn support your dreams. The amateur spends time on anything that catches his attention, but the pro circulates time to everything that aligns with her dreams. And there's an arrow. It's like bullseye. Remember, one, two, three, you know? How neat is that? beautiful all right so pile number three this was your reading for this lionsgate portal 888 portal and remember just take what resonates leave whatever may not resonate use your discernment and um if you're interested in a more personal private reading you can always reach out to me you can comment below or you can email me my email is in the description below it's awakened intuitives 10 at yahoo.com and um if it did not resonate, just choose another pile. Thank you so much. Have a great Lionsgate portal and um, abundant love and light. So be it and so it is. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.